Determination of Theoretical Maximum Specific Gravity Test as per ASTM D2041 Introduction The combined specific gravity of the aggregate along with the bitumen after the removal of the air voids from the mixture is considered as the theoretical maximum specific gravity. Definition it represents the maximum possible specific gravity, density, of a compacted asphalt mixture when it is completely void-free, meaning it has no air voids within aggregate and asphalt binder. What is the purpose behind conducting this test? Quality control Air voids calculation Mixed design calculation Density Calculation Cost Effectiveness Importance of Test Theoretical Maximum Specific Gravity plays an integral part in bitumen mix design. The Theoretical Maximum Specific Gravity is used for calculating air voids. In bituminous mix design, it is helpful in calculation of the amount of bitumen absorbed and calculation of the effective bitumen content. Apparatus for test Hot air oven Constant temperature bath Theoretical maximum specific gravity apparatus Thermometer Vacuum pressure gauge Container Weight balance Hand gloves Sampling tray Sampling bowl Preheat oven at 110 degrees Celsius Bitumen mix sample put in the oven at 110 degrees Celsius for drying process. Remove the bitumen mix sample from oven. Water fill in the water bath then after water temperature is maintained at 25 degrees Celsius. Uniform separation of sample. Twenty-five degrees Celsius maintained water fill in flask up to the mark level. Weight of container number one plus water. Weight of container number two plus water. Bituminous mix sample put in the flask. Weight of sample number 1 plus container number 1. Water fill in the flask up to half level of flask. Flask put in the apparatus. Bituminous mix sample put in the flask. Weight of sample number 2 plus container number 2. Water fill in the flask up to half level of flask. Flask put in the apparatus. Set up the assembly properly.
start the agitation and immediately begin to remove air trapped in the sample. Gradually increase the vacuum pressure until the residual pressure maintain 27.5 plus or minus 2.5 mm Hg. Gradually release the vacuum pressure using the bleeder valve. Twenty five degrees Celsius maintained water fill in flask up to the mark level. Weight of sample number one plus container number one plus water. Twenty five degrees Celsius maintained water fill in flask up to the mark level. Weight of sample number two plus container number two plus water. Calculation of theoretical maximum specific gravity test.